Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Stitching Colorist with Shelley Lewis. I'll apologise in advance if you hear any little voices. I'm filming this on the evening on a Friday. Uh, the reason why I'm filming this is because the package just arrived today and it arrived just before I was doing the school run so I didn't have time to do it then and obviously <laughs> I've been seeing to the children so the nearest time is now so I have recently uploaded a video of VIP cross stitch which I brought some stuff myself made some purchases um, however this one uh, they sent me for a review they asked if I'd like to do another review and I said yes sure I'm more than happy to and i'm more than grateful to review their products because i've reviewed quite a few of them now and i love them all i have not got a problem uh, with them so this package it was sent out my other package which i purchased i got that i ordered it about a day or two before um, they contacted me so that one took about 14 days to come so this one's taken about the same to be fair so we shall unbox it now it is a cross stitch kit of course because <laughs> I you know me by now I love my cross stitch kits I like diamond painting but I seem to enjoy cross stitch a lot more um, with diamond painting you have to sit upright and unfortunately my back doesn't like me to sit up for too long and it causes a lot of back problems where with cross stitch I can just relax and put my feet up and just go to town. So it has got a picture with it. I'm not sure if this picture has one in the package. If it doesn't have a picture in the package then I will a picture at the end of this video to show you what the actual picture looks like but it has got a big chart i apologize about any crinkling beforehand but then again my videos are quite low in sound anyway so you probably wouldn't hear it so this is a bit different because these they usually come on at the back of the charts However, there's a separate sheet, so this is instructions for cross stitch, uh, for if you're new to cross stitch, or even, they come in handy, even if you're an experienced stitcher, because not only does it give you some basic stitch samples, but it also, it's got your notes there, and it also shows your cleaning and maintenance, because with these being stamped cross stitch kits, you do have to wash them later to bring out the ink on the fabric but they are so easy to do i've done it a number of times before so that's quite handy i quite like that on its own so we're going to have a look at the chart because i'm going to see if the chart has the picture of what it is so it doesn't look we don't have a big picture of the kit but like i said for purposes i will upload a picture at the end of the video so you can see it enlarged however this is a kit it is of a white tiger when i looked on their site when they asked me if i'd like to do another review for them um i quite like this disney one but i thought well i've got quite a few disney kits and i do show them on my channel and I've got a few silhouettes that I've shown now. But I don't tend to get a lot of animal ones. And I look, saw this one and I just instantly fell in love with it. It is so cute. I just love the eyes. I really do. I absolutely love the eyes. And I can imagine that will look fantastic when it's stitched. So the chart, it is a big chart. And that is good. It's a really big chart. I'm not going to get it all on camera, unfortunately, because I'm using my table this time. So this is just half of the chart. It's actually got the other half down here. So it's got it down there. 
What I saw about this kit, what I instantly fell in love with when it came, I didn't take it out to have a look. But I saw the back of the chart and I also saw that there was a lot of block stitching. Now, I love block stitching because I don't mind a bit of confetti, but I'm more of a block stitcher. Because I just, I like to stitch when I'm watching the TV of a night. And with this having, it's got, it, don't get me wrong, it has got the bit of confetti stitches like down here not too much but a bit but then you've also got up here your block stitching so if you wanted to if you was working on this design you could do a bit of block stitch and you could work on a bit of confetti and then so forth so it's stitched on 11 counts and it is a 45 by 80 and it is 181 stitches by 333 so it is very large and this kit has 40 colours so down here you've got your symbols and then you've got your corresponding DMC codes which I've previously learned of CXC threads I don't mind, I quite like them actually I quite like the CXC threads so that is the chart and we'll have a look at what else came with the package so we've got another little tool kit so we've got a thimble a needle threader you got your pom-pom with about four different needles in the pom-pom so that comes in handy and then you've got your threads all the threads in here you can tell how big this is going to be because you can see there's quite a few extra hanks there so if i open this up we can see how many more well how much floss is actually in here so there's quite a lot so we've got one two three four five six seven we've got nine extra hanks of floss <laughs> so that goes to show how big the design's going to be but just look at the colors they're absolutely beautiful not to mention we've only got one um number 40 which is like 310 it's usually you got tons of hanks of that which my previous unboxing I did, the one that I purchased myself, we had about six of them alone. But the more purples and pinks, and I really do love them, obviously with the exception of two browns. So that's our extra hanks. And then we get to the floss card itself. So I'm just going to unravel this. Oh, we've got some beautiful colours here absolutely gorgeous gorgeous colours more pinks and flowers it must be because of the flowers that's in the design I'm guessing so oh just look at these <laughs> every stitcher's dream is floss lots and lots of floss so oh this has to be my favourite I love this colour. Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And even that one's not bad. I love that one as well. But you can see they are really nice and shiny. They are cotton threads. Oh, just look at those as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And then on the other side, you've got some pinks and purples. Oh, it's a nice pretty green. Danny, you've got a bit of blue. That'll be for his, for the tiger's eye. So you've got those. And then you have these on this little card. You've got your pinks, but we may have... The reason why it's only got a couple of strands on those, them are probably the ones that we've got extra hanks of. And you've got this nice, like a beige colour, would you call it? And like this pearl white. Oh, absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful 
so I could just look at the floss all day but obviously for the purpose of the video we can't <laughs> I should do one of these ASMR videos where I just get tons and tons of cross stitch floss out shouldn't I so we've got the floss absolutely gorgeous and of course we've got the tons tons and tons of extra floss there so I've just put that to the side and then we're going to have a look at the canvas itself. This is the bit that I'm really looking forward to. I, saying that though, I love looking at the floss alone. So the canvas uh, it is quite starchy, <laughs> very starchy in fact, but it, it's no bother. So at the top right hand corner you've got a picture of what the kit is what you're stitching your corresponding colour code going down to 40 numbers your symbols which on this part here look very very clear in fact the only problem I have with symbols is arrows and it's not necessarily the people that do the kits it's not that it's just personally myself I struggle to see the arrows <laughs> then we've got our corresponding CXC light equivalent to DMC so as I said before this is an 11 count 45 by 80 181 stitches by 333 and now we will have a look at the symbols so as you can see here we've got loads of uh, loads of lovely block stitching here the most important thing about the symbols and that as well is that they're actually in lined in the squares because sometimes i've had one or two not from certain companies um that i've had from in particular but i've had one or two where the symbols have been in between the squares and I had a kit like that once and it was one thankfully that I uh, purchased well that I purchased myself and I just explained I said I'm really sorry but I'm unable to stitch on it because I just couldn't see the symbols so on here the symbols look really really clear the lovely and crisp I love it when you got lovely and crisp symbols got some more block stitching down here it's more the tiger itself where you get the slightly more confetti stitches saying that what I went said about the arrows before though they're not actually too bad on this one they're not too bad there yeah let's have a look what the bottom middle looks like so we've got plenty more block stitching we've got here you can tell the tiger's face there wasn't it gorgeous so if that's a tiger's ah here's his eyes <laughs> the tiger's eyes so we've got that there so i've got choices really i can either when i do start on this i can start in the top corner and just do some blocks load a ton of block stitching or i can go immediately immediately to the eyes and stitch the eyes initially i want to go immediately to the eyes however because the fabric's quite starchy I have a feeling that starting in this corner might be the best thing to do to do some of this block stitching here first because at least then I'll have used um played with the fabric a bit and it might soften it up a bit and at least then it might be easier to go under the eyes so yeah I think when I do start it um we've got a tiny bit of green there so I'll get those stitches in but then We've got the green bit here, so obviously save wasting it and snipping it off, I'll stitch the green across here 
and then down there so I might still have to actually put it in a frame or don't necessarily have to do that if I want to just stay here for first to just stitch it freehand I could work on these stitches here the uh, maybe the crosses or something and just work on this area I could do 37 actually because I don't think it would cover any of the other stitches because they're all balanced so yeah I might do that we'll see I really really shouldn't start any more stitching but I want to start it <laughs> I really do want to start it so anyway guys oh yeah one more thing before i go it is surged as well the edges are surged so on the margin it, that's not bad not a bad margin might be a bit tricky when i try and put it in a frame which is another reason to be honest why i should stitch focus on the top bit first because at least that i can hook it more in the frame then um we've got a nice decent margin there and of course we've got a decent margin there as well so that is it guys i am really really impressed with this kit here i absolutely love it and just seeing all this floss as well makes me really really happy so it does make me happy so I'm going to do, after this video, in quite near future video, I will do a stitching chat with it. However, I want to start a little bit of it off camera. So at least then, when I do do a stitching chat, I can show you how far I've got with the kit. So, anyway guys, um, technically you have seen the picture of what it's like, but I will see if I can find the picture. The proper picture and i will include it in the video at the end of the video so anyway uh what i'll do in the descriptions below i'll leave a link to this beautiful kit <laughs> absolutely gorgeous i will leave a link in the descriptions below to this kit also to vip cross stitch now this kit i didn't write the price down this time last couple of times i've done a review sometimes i've actually written the price down but i didn't this time i know it wasn't any more than i'm sure it wasn't any more than 13 pound but i could be wrong but anyhow i'll put it in the link description below so you can check it out at your own convenience uh, not to mention vip cross stitch also left me a seven percent discount for you guys so the seven percent discount discount code is shelly07 so please feel free if you do go over to vip cross stitch to take advantage of that um discount not to mention they have all lovely other discounts as well if you buy so many you get like three ones the recent ones that i purchased only about like i said 14 days ago i bought four kits and I also got a kit free. So technically I had five kits for the price of four. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. Especially as you get your fabric, your chart, your floss, your needles. You get everything in the kit that you need. So anyway guys, I'm going to get going now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I'm going to see what the kids are getting up to now. So anyway, I'll see you again soon, guys. Goodbye for now. Bye.